Welcome to the Cunningham Piano Show, where we explore life between the keys. I am so excited about today's guests. We have an incredible ensemble of four pianists playing all at the same time. Please welcome to the show the two by fours.
Wow, that was so much fun. I really seldom get a chance to hear four pianos playing all at once. Thank you so much for those wonderful performances. Thank, Thank you for you. having us. So tell me, Bruce, how did you guys get together? How did you start this wonderful idea to play all at the same time? Um, Ten years ago, about uh, when I retired from teaching public school, um, I had been in a piano ensemble when I first started teaching and enjoyed it. So I knew I'd have a little more time on my hands when I retired. So I knew John because he taught in my district. And I knew Joan because she taught in a neighboring district. John and uh, Joan and I also went to the same university as piano majors. And fortunately for us, uh, Joan knew Robin, who was in the area as an accompanist and pianist, and we got together and things just clicked, and here we are today. That's really all in who you know, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So tell me, uh, how do you select, or how do you even find the pieces that you get a chance to perform? It's, you know, it's one thing to find solo piano works. How in the world do you find works for four pianos? Well, we search the internet, 
to watch different uh, performers, and we select transcriptions of symphonies, operas, ballet, music, and other dance forms. We also go to uh, films and ballads from films, uh, ragtime, jazz, and patriotic numbers. And I think it's really interesting that you also mentioned the fact that you st sometimes start your research by actually watching videos of other, and believe it or not, there are several other multi-piano groups out there, aren't, aren't there? Yes, there are. And then we choose, our, we do a lot of research of that and select the music and order it and practice and then see if we'd like to use it or not. Can you give us a rough idea as to how many pieces you guys are now working on or have active in your repertoire? Well, right now we're working on about six or seven multi-piano works, but uh, we've had probably about 30 pieces. Wow, that's fantastic. So I imagine one of you must have a palatial home with four beautiful grand pianos to all practice on. How do you guys rehearse and practice? Well, we started on um, having a grand piano and an upright piano and someone else's home had a grand piano and a keyboard. So that's- A digital the, keyboard. Right, digital <clears throat> keyboard. So uh, we played on two instruments for a long time. Uh, it would depend on the venue that we were playing at. If they might have just two upright pianos, we could play on those. Oh. If they had a grand and a, a, a digital instrument, we would play on those. So just so, so, just so folks understand, so in those instances, two of you would play on one right, piano and the other two would play. Start. Oh, wow. Fascinating. So that was okay. the two by four. Ah, the two ah, instruments. Oh, with the I get it oh, now. Oh, oh. <laughs> but we graduated to <clears throat> playing actually four instruments when one of the pieces that we were going to play was written specifically for four instruments. So we said, what are we going to do? So we brought in two extra keyboards to go with the two pianos. And from there, we decided maybe we'll just stay on this four idea. Um, up until that point, our highlight was being at uh, one of the local universities. We got to play on two grand pianos that were matching pianos, and we thought that was the ultimate. But here at Cunningham, we finally were able to have four grand pianos at the same time, and we're very appreciative of that idea. And this is actually the first time that you have all performed on four grand pianos simultaneously. What was it like? Wonderful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We'd like one, to, one to go now. home with me. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get to these pianos in just a second. So I'm wondering, um, you shared a little bit about the beginnings. I'm, I'm wondering if you could also share a bit about how you rehearse, how you put these things together. Well, here we have uh, many rehearsals over an extended period of time to uh, work on developing our program, the uh, logistics of playing on multiple instruments, and the many musical details in each piece. Uh, then we need to coordinate our schedules. We're all retired, but quite busy with uh, various musical endeavors. Uh, some of us give private lessons, some are church musicians, some are course directors, and some are accompanists. Um, the most enjoyable part about this collaboration is our our wonderful working relationship and our shared passion for music. And you, it looks like you guys are having way yes. too much fun. <laughs> and we are also humbled and blessed by our many opportunities to share our musical gifts. Just a question, how often are you able to rehearse together? Mm. Well, usually about once a month. Once a yeah. month. Um, and one of the things, at least six months leading up to One of to the things a, that people don't yeah. realize uh, is that it takes us about a year to get an entire program uh, from the time we start to practice individually and then we start to put it together. So then it's a year because lots of people will say, when is your next program? And then you <laughs> yes. have to say next year because mm -hmm. we start. And because of all the other things we do. And also as we lead up to those uh, concerts, we need more frequent practices and practicing in the venue where we're going to be. You know, normally in our show, we ask our guests 
to select from a range of pianos. But to be honest, this was one of the most challenging episodes to shoot, having four pianos of roughly the same size, all the same, you know, prepared and tuned to match each other as closely as possible. It's no easy task. So we were able to round up a Mason and Hamlin. We were able to round up a, a Yamaha, actually a disc clavier, but a C2X disc clavier. We also had two Estonia pianos. I wanted to ask you, uh, what did you guys think of the pianos that you got to play on? Well, I played the Yamaha, and uh, what I enjoyed most about it was I felt like I could really get into the action of the keys that when I was playing forte, I felt like I could really get into that, and the same when I was playing, you know, softer, that it was an easy, just easy to do, transitioning from pianos I'm used to playing before. And Joan, you were on one of the Estonias. What did you think of that piano? This was the very first time I've ever played in Estonia. Um, and, you know, it is difficult for pianists to have to play someone else's instrument. You always are at the mercy of whatever company has made that particular piano. But I enjoyed the Estonia. Um, it speaks very clearly and has a nice bright sound. So I was very impressed with that today. And John, you actually had a Mason and Hamlin A. Tell us a little bit about what you thought of this. I really enjoyed playing the Mason and Hamlin. I haven't played one for a long time. And I enjoyed it because the action is just great for me. Mm -hmm. And it, it's very responsive to me. And I like the tone quality of the instrument too. And Robin, I don't know how this came out as a coincidence, but you were playing another Estonia, kind of the twin sister to Jones. What did you think of your Estonia? Well, that was the first time I played on an Estonia piano, and I very much enjoyed that, um, especially the, uh, the singing tone. Uh, to me, that's the ultimate to, to be able to use the fingers as our voice to mm -hmm. sing. Mm -hmm. Well, everybody, Bruce, Joan, John, and Robin, thank you so much for being on the show and sharing your amazing arrangements and ensemble and musicianship, and most of all, your friendship with all of us. Thank you so much. You're welcome. It was our pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks again for watching. If you enjoyed this, be sure to subscribe so that we can let you know whenever we have new episodes. For the Cunningham Piano Show, I'm Hugh Sung, and we'll see you next time.